Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Captain Collins. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Friday, October 11th, 2024. Now let's watch a video from our new segment, RPCV Reels. You see how she's chewing gum? Very not demure. Very not mindful. You see how I'm not chewing gum? Very demure. Very mindful. See, recording TikToks in the school bathroom is not very demure, classy, or mindful. We go to the bathroom to use it. You see how we're both doing it already? Very demure, very mindful. We're going to have 25 lessons by the end of the quarter. I am finally a good student. That video was very cutesy and very demure. This is amazing. Let's head over to Hispanic Heritage with Jasmine. Hola, Patriots. Today, Hispanic Heritage will talk about Lionel Messi. Messi is an Argentinian soccer player that plays for many teams like Barcelona, France, and Inter Miami. When Messi was a young kid, he played for the youth system of Noel's Old Boys. This sparked Messi's love for soccer. In the 2000s, Messi's first team was Barcelona. Messi has won 45 different trophies. Messi's influence is not only football. His credible endeavors like the Lionel Messi Foundation for the healthcare and education for kids also skyrocketed him into the Hispanic megastar status. Whoa, he's made his mark on Hispanic culture. Now let's see what's cooking with Noah. Thank you, Jasmine. Today's lunch is meatball soup, turkey cheese de la kogi, green beans, herb tomatoes, garden side salad, ranch dressing, chocolate fruit, and your choice of milk. Monday's breakfast is turkey sausage breakfast pizza, cinnamon toast crunch, graham crackers, fresh apple, and 100% apple juice. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch menu could change at any time that your teacher knows you're receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Catherine. Thank you, Noah. That sounds extravagant. Today is the last day for this week's Inside Out theme colors. So today we'll be wearing the color red to represent anger. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Patriots, make sure to spit out any gum that you have before entering the building. And phones, make sure to off any bags at all times. Also wear only a school jacket or a sweater. The fall festival is on the way. The fall festival is a time to get together with friends, dress up, and have fun playing games for candy. And don't forget the famous haunted hallway. And doing some raffles for prizes. It'll be from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. It'll be on Saturday, October 26th. The pre-sale tickets started on September 27th. With fall, there's always an activity planned. And that is the barnyard dance. Remember, that is only for K-5th through fifth grade. It will be $5, and our last day to pay will be on Thursday the 24th, while the dance is the day after, which is Friday the 25th. Time's almost up, because the challenge ends today, so make sure to do the lessons if you haven't. Here's the last reminder. K-4 through will have waffles and dress down if they do 25 in mental math and core 5 lessons. And 5th through 8th will have Sunday party with dress down for 25 in mental math and I ready reading. Best of all. The top three users will also join the fun. Make sure to complete it. Now let's view the weather charts with Samara. Thank you, Catherine. What's up, Patriots? Today's weather is 88 degrees Fahrenheit with thunderstorms. In other weather news, the sun had its most powerful sun flare of this cycle. Do you like the northern lights? Thanks to this powerful solar flare, if you happen to be in the north of the U.S., then you will see them during the weekend. While this solar flare will allow us to see the northern lights, the solar flare will cause some serious disruptions with GPS and radios. But don't you worry, because the damage is not permanent. Look at these stunning images of red and gold lights emerging from the sun. What an interesting phenomenon. Now let's wish your patient's happy birthday with Giselle. Thank you, Samara. Today's birthday boys and girls are Isabel Dacoste, Joelle Lara, Shiel Pierre, and Jamie Randon. Wednesday and Thursday birthdays were Lennon Pina, Emelina Rodriguez, Erica Calderon, Zachariah Desrosiers, Aaron Sorry, Jordan Chambers, Carolina Lu, Isabella Monticello, 
and Sydney Noel. Our weekend birthdays are Zoe Abreu, Jalissa Nazan, Jaden Zim, Bella Endujar, and Jada Sola Ongundalu. Happy birthday! Now it's to the school with News Around the School. to change the to a k. Good. Kit. Kit. Cook the kangaroo. Whoa, such fun pictures. Anyways, teachers, please continue uploading any interesting photos or videos into a news around our school OneDrive folder so we can keep highlighting everything going around our school and in your classrooms. Patriots, hear your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kind towards others, treat schools well respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Arno and Ms. Cavalita for getting the correct answer to Monday's Day Challenge, which was what is the core of a golf ball made of? The correct answer was rubber. And congrats to Miss Nelson, Miss Soto, Miss Arnold, Miss Cavalita, Miss McGregor, Miss Blanc, Miss Carter, and Miss Pardinas for getting the correct answer to Tuesday's Day Challenge, which was, in what movie will you find characters who are looking for a brain, a heart, and courage? The correct answer was The Wizard of Oz. Now for today's Day Challenge. Daily Challenge. Which planet has the most moons? Teachers, please get your answers to pines.renaissance at dream.com before 9 a.m. And no free answers to be reviewed. When we announce our next morning announcement. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a frightening Friday. Have a great day!